Good morning, it's fairly early and we're gonna finish what we started the last time we worked on this abandoned Tri-5 Chevy. All we were trying to do was put new brake shoes on each corner, rebuild the original 1956 wheel cylinders, sandblast and paint the backing plates and all the original drum brake hardware. But what happened was, NASCAR, things started breaking and we just ran out of time. Oh, come on you 40 year old Sears snow tire. Oh, come on. Well, what? doing tire? What kind of a hot dog stunt was that? The only thing we have to finish up here in the right rear is to swap out these original springs that help hold the shoes onto the backing plate with these brand new springs because these are the only two survivors on the car. The rest of them have crumbled and broken into pieces. I do not want to switch these out, I want to run the original pieces, but, no, oh, come here, spring. No! Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to install new springs on all four corners. I will start searching the junkyards, and over time I'll try to collect Two, two times four, uh, eight, eight good ones. Actually, I guess I only really need six, but I'll just shoot for eight good ones that aren't rusted out, just so I have a couple extra. And when I got a full set for the car, I'll swap back to the original style. You see how smart I am? I'm doing this one side at a time so that the whole thing doesn't just fly off. That's how smart I am. How many times is that gonna happen? Probably many. There we go. We're over here on the left rear now, and we need to throw that stuff on, which means we gotta pull the axle and we're gonna rebuild that wheel cylinder. Then we'll hop up to the left front and then the right front, which is where we're gonna try putting some parts on this car that don't belong on it. So we'll see how that goes. You're not gonna let me get away with this one. Go ahead, roast me in the comments. I earned this one. I'm gonna put this right here because I want to trip on it. That was a lot easier than the other week when we are trying to yank it out when all this was rusted. And you can tell there's been water in here because it smells like an old plastic green military canteen. Oh, oh, I tried using my six pack to go back like this and I ended up popping my back. Before we can get all this put onto there, we need to sandblast and paint the parking brake lever, and then we'll rebuild the wheel cylinder. Well, we're not gonna be able to put that back together until we find the nut for the parking brake lever. I was cleaning it up on the wire wheel on the drill press, and the wheel snagged it and shot it 
right out of my fingers and out the door. I only had this door open about a foot and it shot it right through the gap. We're not finding that nut in the dark, so let's jump ship on the left rear, jump up to the left front, knock that out, because that's going to take, I don't know, probably two, three hours, something like that. And then when the sun's up, we'll go outside and we'll have a little search party for that nut. I can honestly say that that's probably one of the most difficult wheel cylinders that I've ever taken apart. That took about an hour when it usually takes about five minutes. This one's a little rough, but I think we can save this one as well. It ain't getting any better than that, and that's okay. I guess Jupiter and Venus are not in good aspect with Pluto today because the day's over halfway gone and I just spent a solid hour searching for that nut. Like maybe it went down a gopher hole. This is just one of those fun little life things. I'm just flat out of time today. There's no, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to knock out that right front today. I'm running up to Kansas City in the morning to pick up a motorcycle and hopefully two cars. We'll see how that goes. It's about a 10 hour run, so I need to get hooked up to the trailer, get my tools ready, maybe get a couple minutes of sleep. It bugs me because I have this thing about tying up loose ends, but it's not a very tidy world, is it? 